Good morning, happy Monday and welcome to the Fawcett's holiday. Now, can you see all this crap on the table? That is everything but the kitchen sink that we're taking with us. Uh, bits of food, um, bit kitchen things, things to help us with picnics and things when we're out and about, storage containers, flasks, all sorts all sorts of rubbish um but we are going on holiday so as usual we're going to lime fit park which is just outside of windermere in the lake district it's quarter past seven on monday morning i've been up since six well awake since six i've took charlie out and i've got my breakfast ready uh, and i've got a few more bits ready to pack so I'll show you my breakfast. Now, I am not promising to be 100% Slimming World this week, um, but we'll just try and keep a healthy mindset. And this is where I bit my lip uh, Saturday. So yeah, that's just that. But it's breakfast time. So as I say, I've already been out with Charlie and it's a very frosty morning, the coldest morning so far. So I've got a hot coffee made with skimmed milk. I've got 50 grams of all bran that I've soaked with water. Topped that with a toffee yogurt, I believe, and some defrosted berries. Now I have just blasted this in the microwave for 30 seconds just to warm it through, but yum, yum. Well. Well. Well, are we ready to go? Yeah, we're ready to go. Do a little take too long because my knees are bad <laughs> come on stand up then we have to to get to get us both in the shot we have to do a high knee it's all right so it is just after nine o'clock we are ready to set off are you looking forward to your holiday yeah you are you taking your slippers yeah yeah good come on let's get the doggy let's have a look at charlie come on then pop pop a good boy. He's a good boy. He's a top dog. Is Charlie looking forward to his holiday? Mm -hmm. Oh, he's looking right at the camera. What a good boy. It takes us about three hours, I think. Three, three, and, three and a half hours. Three we, and a half hours. With a, wee, with a wee stop. Yeah, we stop, we stop at services and we also stop for a picnic, which you'll have seen before. So we'll catch you somewhere along the way. Safe driving. It is 10.45 and we are at Birch Services, which is just outside Manchester, isn't it? Yeah, somewhere around Somewhere. Um, it's quite cold, actually. But I have got a small Americano with sugar-free gingerbread syrup and skimmed milk. And look at this, what I've treated myself to. Mango, strawberries, raspberries and blueberries. I probably won't eat it all, but I'm going to have a little nibble now while I drink my coffee. Aren't you getting anything to, out to nibble on? No. No, I'm all right. So it is 20 past 12 and we are in the Lake District, about, about, about 10, 15 minutes away from where we usually stay. Is this huge, lovely lay-by. Um, where we stop for our dinner so that it, when we get there it's all ready for us the lodge but this is where we stop for our dinner with the view it's a bit murky and drib uh, dribbling a little bit or spitting that's, as that peter no, k would say that's me that's dribbling uh, <laughs> lunch we've got some crustless quiche and salad I've got the rest of my Marks and Spencer's fruit, skinny crunch bar and some grapes, and a zero sugar cola. Andrew's got two lots of sandwiches and chip sticks obviously. And we've got the view. And we've got, can you see him there? A little Charlie. Good afternoon, it's just after half past two. We've been here a couple of hours, we've arrived safely, we've unpacked, we've got used to our surroundings and now we're ready to show you around. 
<coughs> we are staying in a quite a similar area to where we've been before. You'll re you might recognise that, that's the pub that's usually near the cottage. There's the stone cottages where we usually stay, the back of them. And we are in a lodge this time, so let me show you. This is our lodge, here's our car. We've got stone decking and fences and a little um, garden for Charlie's first and last wheeze. It's called a New England. Oh, let's have a look. I haven't looked down here. You can explore this with me. We've got a nice patio area. French doors and a big window. That's our view, although you can't see much at the minute because it's very misty. Nice in the summer. And New England Willoughby Homes. Oh, look. Who can we see there? He's already making himself at home. So when we come through the side door, we've got Mr. Fawcett making a cup of tea. So we've got the big lounge area, two um, like three-seater settees, a, a grey theme, would you say? Uh, yeah, well, yeah. It, I'd say it was grey. Grey, yeah. yeah. Tele, fireplace, rug and, rug and um, coffee table, two sofas. Table and chairs to seat six, although it only sleeps four, doesn't it? Uh, well, yeah, that's yeah. what uh, You've got a nice dresser there and then a lovely big kitchen with all our bits and pieces. Yeah, it looks big because I'm so slim. Got a massive fridge. That's for you. Thank you, that's my coffee. I might have something with that in a minute. Hmm. Oh, that's better. We've got an oven and a microwave. We've got some coffee cake. Coffee cake. Toaster, we've brought our axi fry and our frying pan. That is one of the biggest tips we can give you. Bring your own frying pan because they're usually rubbish here. So that's the kitchen. Now, in here, you've got like a boot room. So you've got hooks for your coats, the boiler in there, and little bits of storage, and an extra sink here. Hoover, mop and an airing, airing board, that's the boring bits and then through here you've got the bedrooms so we've chosen this one this time I think it's a king size bed plenty of um, plugs for chargers and storage, much more storage than what was in the cottages that where we've stayed before here you've got a walk-in wardrobe and you walk straight through the wardrobe into the ensuite. Turn the light on for you. So you can walk through your wardrobe, be mulling on what you want to wear here. Is the wardrobe look. Uh, and then go to the ladies. And then through here you've got the family bathroom I suppose you'd call it with a bit of a bigger tub and this is also the ensuite for this room now I think this, this, I don't know I don't know if this might be slightly bigger if this is meant to be the main or the other is meant to be the main bedroom you'll have to let me know what you think but if you go through here that's back into the family bathroom it's much cleaner and more up to date than the cottages that we've stayed in before and we're really happy with it. Let's have a look in here. Loads of storage in there. Look, sorry the light's not on. But there's loads of room in there. Turn all the lights off as we go. But isn't that nice? Look at my lip. It's it's not it doesn't actually feel too sore, but it looks really bad. It looks like I've been beaten up turn all these lights off we might actually move because that does seem a lighter room whereas in the other one you can uh, keep the light out more 
but yes i think it's time for coffee what do you think to it compared to the cottage yeah it's much much nicer isn't it mm, much more modern yeah that his coffee cake look it's um you get what you pay for don't you mm. Well, we managed when when our earlier holiday had to be cancelled. They gave us some money back, so we were able to. Um, well, they gave us a bit extra back. Didn't gave they? us a bit extra back, so we were able to book a slightly more upgraded lodge. And I think we're happy that we have, haven't we? Even though we've always loved the cottages. Look at that view. Yeah, I've shown them the view. Oh yeah. Because I've been out on patio. Oh, have you? You can see here. Look. Nice when the, when the clouds lifted. Yeah, when the clouds lifted. But anyway, I'm going to enjoy my coffee now. I will go to Booth's when I've had five minutes. And when I come back, I'll show you what I've bought. Right, I am back from Booth's. I was going to film in the supermarket, but you know what it's like these days with trying to keep your distance and masks on and everything. So I just thought I'd show you what I bought. Not all Slimming World friendly, but hopefully again you'll see that I'm maybe trying to keep on the healthy side. So for Andrew, I got some Border Viennese World Biscuits, some Twix Fingers and some Snack Shortcake Bars. Bananas were already from home, which we brought. Um, beetroot and mixed leaf salad. Some plums ripening at home and some baking potatoes. We'll probably make chips with those. Malted grain and seed bread for Andrew. Eggs for breakfast. Chunky cod fillets for Andrew's breakfast. Um, evening meal, sorry. Sweet bite peppers. Steak pie and best rich beef gravy. Also for Andrew's evening meals. For my evening meals to go with the things that I've pre-prepared, I've got some mixed pepper stir fry and some prepared vegetables. What's in here? Carrots, broccoli and green beans, I think. Uh, some baby plum tomatoes. Petit pois for Andrew. Again, that's something we could have brought, but we didn't really think about it in time. Some baby potatoes with herbs, there for Andrew to go with his fillet steak. British specialty apples, I got a couple of bargains, I got some booze dry cured ham with orange glaze and chicken, there for Andrew's sandwiches. Some strawberries, for Andrew again, Fentiman's dandelion and burdock. Some shower gel because I don't think we'll quite have enough. Some Yorkshire Smokehouse Black Treacle Bacon. Now that was reduced as you can see. I'm not quite sure if that would have a sin value. You'd have to check that. Uh, some frozen raspberries just to add to my dessert. Oh, I got myself. Here it is, look. Um, K-Varg yogurts with chocolate pieces. Got two of those for my desserts. And for Andrew, this was reduced as well. Booze cream cake selection. So you get a couple of... Um, custard slices, two buns and jam and cream scones and that is my booze haul. I think that's everything. What do you think? I was a bit of a bargain hunter. Well unless it was more than £10. <laughs> it was a bit more than £10 uh, but I'm not going to tell you how much. Anyway Better get all this put away and get some tea on. I usually go for a walk um, in the late afternoon, but it's just started raining. But if we do go out, we'll show you a bit of the out and about. Otherwise, next thing will be evening meal. So it is quarter past five and we're just sitting down for our evening meal. Charlie's a little bit unsettled, so we might uh, brave the outdoors and take him for a bit more of a walk to uh, settle him down. But hopefully after he's spent a night here and he knows we're stopping for a while, he'll settle down. If you can hear any crying, that is Charlie. Quite unsettled, but like I say, hopefully he'll settle down. So my evening meal is the sausage and bean casserole from Spice and Tice. I've got the whole packet of the mixed veg I bought earlier and a few chips done in the Axi Fry. Andrew's got more of the chips and his peas and the chunky 
fish. I can't remember showing that on the on the vlog actually, but one thing I got in was two pieces of chunky cod fillet with some tomato sauce. We've both got juices and I've got some chocolate quark and strawberries. And Andrew's having his cream cakes when he gets them out. Well, we've come out for our evening walk. It's about six o'clock. Walked down from our lodge. This is still part of the campsite to find the river. It's nice now. It's warmed up just a tad. And the sun cleared the clouds a little bit. Yeah, this is part of the uh, Lime Fit Park. Right, we're in the actual dog field now, next to the river. There's Charlie, Andrew taking his pictures for next year's calendar. Well, it's nice to be out. And here we are, this is the view that you're going to be seeing a lot. Me in my woolly, woolly bobble hat and raincoat, <laughs> keeping warm and snug. But you'll just have to look behind me at beautiful views. At least it's dry. Once again we have come to see the ponies to stretch our legs on the first day. <clears throat> there is pony trekking available as part of Lime Fit. Hey yo. Hey yo. Some more there. Hello. Hey yo. Hey yo. There's the hills covered in mist. <clears throat> and the view this way. And this is less than 10 minutes walk from our lodge and still all part of the same park. Yes, we usually like to just stretch our legs on the first afternoon or evening. We've had blazing sunshine pouring rain when we've been here. Let's see what this time brings. Last proper view of the day probably. It's from the top of the track, back over the ponies and up the valley opposite. What a beautiful place to live. Andrew's still back there, petting that horse. But this one here has got the itches. He's got the zoomies. Yes, he's got lots of energy today, so. But we will be doing more walking and no doubt he'll be tired out soon enough. So it is seven o'clock. I'm going to wrap this video up now and hopefully get it uploaded. The internet is rather slow, but we'll do our best and I'll show you how we'll be spending the rest of the evening. Yes, we're back from our walk. It stayed dry and like I say, it's about seven o'clock. So I'm going to make a coffee. I've got plenty of snacks. I've got some various types of low-sin crisps. Hi-Fi bars, which will probably be for when we're out and about. I've got some low-sin chocolate bars and something a bit naughtier, which is the Marks & Spencer's Praline Bar. That is 187 calories. That's probably about eight sins or so, but it's very nice, I'm sure. And then while this vlog is uploading, we'll be looking through our books and our maps to find somewhere to go tomorrow. Say good night. Night. See you tomorrow. Thank you for watching. Bye. Like, comment and subscribe and we'll see you very soon.